am working with dark paper because I want you to see today on practice strokes the difference in having the dark in the back. And um, lots of times I will take and put some dark in there behind what I'm going to be working on. And the dark green already gives you that, okay? So you can come in here and add a little bit of light here and there if you think that will help you with your color. But instead of just doing a light color background, please make sure, oops, excuse me. Please make sure that you are uh, putting something back there so it just isn't a lot of bare stems, okay? So this is with a 16 flat and that citrus and, and sap. And what I want to do is I'm going to show you on dark how we then make the stems so we wouldn't lead. This is what whether we lead with or, or without. All right. So I've been painting all morning. I have some paint I'm still going to be using. All right. I'm going to pick up some little bit of white on my citrus. I'm still got my 16. I'm going to pick up some floating medium. If you haven't subscribed and you want to see more, please subscribe. And if you ring the bell when you subscribe, it'll just pop up and say, hey, Donna's on. All right. So I just want you to see that if I'm whatever follows is what you're going to see. So if I went down here and I went up like this, it's going to be the dark more. But if I come up and I'm going to go and follow with the light, it's going to show a little bit brighter. All right, that didn't do a good example of that because look, when I'm standing up and I'm going like this, you would see more dark. All right. Now down here, I could do more dark. And that's with the chisel edge of the brush, right? So when I'm up here... When I'm going through that dark, I want to turn this sideways. So look at this. I can hold it up like this and then be really easy to make this flow from side to side. Okay, so that's not light enough. You see that? And this is kind of dark, so I'm going to go back over that. All right. And I do have some I thought I might go straight up with. Okay. And then I could turn this. This is just art paper, scrapbooking paper. That's a heavier weight. I bought a big ream of it with heavier weight. So it doesn't really fill up like when I start working on it right away. Just a little bit because I put a lot of paint right there. Okay, so now what I want to do is... Um, I'm going to come in here and maybe put a couple of leaves that would be like in the background. So I can put a little bit of yellow. So think about it. You can pick up white or yellow. And I'm going to keep the same brush so I can just come up here lightly and do some little thin pressure lift. It's kind of like daisy strokes. Push, lift. But they're green and they're going out instead of in. So that makes you see that they are um, they are not daisies. <laughs> they're green because they're leaves. All right. So I want you to see that I'm going to wiggle a little bit and then come down and around. So that's with the sap on the outside, the dark on the outside. Okay. No, 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 too much glare. All right. But let's say that I'm going to put the light on the outside. So I'm going to come right here and here. Okay, so let me do this one again because I don't think you can see what I'm trying to say. Okay, so if I'm on the dark, I know in this light it shows really good, but on this actual, the dark doesn't show up very well because... Um, it's dark in the background. I guess the light hitting it is making it different, though. All right. So I'm just going to put some of those big leaves. I'm going to get rid of that one light I've got going here. All right. So I want you to see that I can put a little bit of white in this so that you can see this right here. Look at the difference that makes. All right. 
So if I put a little bit of light on this, look how much better that shows. And we're stroking wet on wet. If you hear that comment, what does that mean? That means I am I am picking up. I got a floating medium all over me. I'm picking up right on top of this wet. Like you don't have to lay anything dry. You're just going to pick with one stroke painting with our folk art multi-surface paint. What's happening is it's thick and creamy. And when I'm stroking wet on wet, it's going to still look really good and not go muddy. So isn't that nice? It really helps you. Um, I can turn it, lift, and you can go right over this area. All right. Now, look, I do have some floating... <laughs> I keep putting my hand in that magenta. Sorry. <laughs> okay. I haven't get my paper towel. Okay. So what I want you to see is that there is floating medium right here. It's like this clear medium here. Okay. You dip straight in it and then you work in. So I'm going to work it in right here. And then I can put some really... All right, so just some little strokes across here. As long as it's got some green in it, people figure that's the leaves, right? I just want you to see, coming around and adding some of that really um, gives you a really sharp look. But you can also come in here right in front and pull the white. And that will make, like, that's going to make it pop. So those are flowers that are going to be in front, okay? So now I'm going to get to a 12 flat. This is actually a 10 flat. Let's do a 10 flat, all right? So I'm going to come in here and um, do some of the small flowers that I can do with the 10, okay? So I'm going to pick up some white and um, let's, let's change this. Let's do white and purple, okay? So I'm going to work it in. Got a palette I already was using. There's the medium. Okay, so oh, when I'm there, I'm gonna keep picking up. Oops, right here. I'm gonna keep picking up white. Okay, so what I want you to see is that I can come here with the white on the outside and do a little bit of a flower right there. Now watch what happens. I can make this come out and back up down and back up you see that so all you're looking at is the white edge of that flower so then i can come right in here and do a front layer of petals okay i do that so you can see that that's just a fun little blossom all right so then we can come here again and maybe down here some little violets. Okay, so let's look at this. We're going to go wiggle a little bit there. Like up there, that one I zigzag, like up on the chisel. Here I'm wiggling and getting a little ruffled petal. Okay. And let's do another one. So this is a 10 flat. And every time I go away and come over here, I am just picking up white. White. Okay. Not purple each time. That's where people kind of get confused. If they put purple and white, violet pansy and white, every time they go over here, it starts to get muddy. So now there's a little bit of purple, violet pansy there. I can go in it again, and I can come right over here and do this flower again. So look, zigzag, zigzag. This is smooth down here. This is sharp points, like, all right, so I just pick up more white. Okay, so down, coming down a little bit down a little bit and it doesn't have to have a stem there because we can add a stem so now see i'm going right over and doing some petals in front so when you did petals in front and then we come in here and put some green back in here 
Okay, see how that finishes it off. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to address each kind of little flower as I go. Um, I got new pistols and brought them here. I'll just use this little tool. All right, I'm going to, this is a wipe away tool. The kiss tool looks like a candy kiss. I use both of them in there. So see, I just dot it with this little rubber tool. Okay, now, now let's look at some pinks all right so i'm getting pink and white this is magenta and white okay so i'm going to go into the floating medium because it's on paper sometimes it gets dry but now see i can get that really muddy so i'm going to lay it on the paper towel and take it off some because it's a little muddy all right now every time i come over here now i'm going to come over here and pick up a little bit of white only all right and then we'll change that a little bit later too, okay? Mm -hmm. Now, what's going to happen is I like stock flowers. So I can come right here. And I'm just putting the white. All right. So look, look how this pops out on the dark. All right. So remember I said we don't need magenta. We just need more white. See, now I'm pulling down. Okay, so I want you to see that these are simple little strokes I'm sharing with you. But the idea is the color it's on, the background. So this is all about using dark backgrounds. And I was trying to do something besides black because sometimes the black has a big glare on it all the time when I'm using it. All right, I'm going to try to use the same brush. And let's pick up some more white and magenta. And let's show you a little bit fuller flower. Okay. So now watch what happens here. I'm going to say here's my center in the middle. All right. So I'm going to come out and get a point. Lay it down. Lay it down. So what I mean lay it down is pressure left, pressure left. Okay. So I'm going to come here. I didn't pick up more paint. I'm going to come back, pressure, pressure, and stand up. Okay, so watch me, watch that happen again. It's because I want to do one here, one here, and one here. You see that? Kind of laying it out so it's like a map for me. So I slide with the pink in the middle, pressure, lift, pressure, lift, and stand up. All right, so now I just come back, pressure, lift, pressure, and then roll the brush. Okay. So I do need a little bit more magenta because it's a longer petal. Pressure, pressure, stand up. And you can start over each one as you go. Or like I was doing before is I come pressure, pressure, stand up. Come right back without lifting. All right. Is that kind of good? I'll show you a center in that. All right, so now let's add some yellow. This is daffodil yellow on the white edge. So I got white first, and then I worked the yellow into the white edge. All right, so what I want you to see is that we can do the same type of flower, but just a little bit smaller. Like it's just coming in this flower bed here. Now look, I did all five of those petals without picking up paint. All right, but I can come in here. Let's make this one a little bit longer so it looks like it matches. And then what I like to do always with the same color is I like to come up here and do a bud which usually just takes two or three strokes. Okay, so that's a bud. And I kind of almost have a triangle right there. But here, let's make a triangle over here of another bud. Okay. All right, now let's put, let's say some pink on there and do pink and purple. Uh, I don't want that yellow though. That yellow makes it kind of muddy. All right, so let's get magenta and purple. There we go. 
and that gives you a really pretty color. All right, so I'm going to come right in the center here. Now, first of all, I'm going to just tap, 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 little taps. All right, then I'm going to come in here. I'm going to add some purple in there, too, along with some pink. All right, purple and magenta. Let's just tap that out some. Okay, so see, I can just tap this. Now, to make that really look good. See, I like the green showing through. Now, all I'm going to do now is stroke white. And so I can put some little white here. Flat. Pick up flat. Look, right here. Pick it up. And then I'm just going to make some little white petals. Pick up. You get all this paint already there. All right, now you're, you got this right next to another one. But look at the difference. It looks like a totally different flower, even though we got uh, kind of close to the same colors. And so why does that look like it's close to the same flower? I mean, what tells you it's a different flower is because those strokes went down. So you just saw, I just pounced a little bit here and there. Okay. And there we go. All right, so now I'm going to take a little script liner, like the one script liner, and I'm going to put some little yellow. So I'm going to get white with the one script liner and then pick up some yellow. Got a little bit of a fuzzy there. Okay, so I'm going to pull, pull, pull. These little fuzzies. All right, so we have daffodil and white. I still think there's a little bristle that wants to come out. <laughs> okay. All right, so that gives you a little bit different. All right. Now what I still need, let's take, let's take some green in here. And... This guy needs to be attached, and this one needs to be attached. We did those, right? So we're probably pretty good there. All right. So let's pick a couple more colors. All right. I'm going to pick up this Pueblo with some daffodil. All right. And let's come right in here and do a petal. Like you can use red. There's all kinds of colors you can use. Apple red. This is Pueblo and Daffodil. Daffodil yellow. Okay, so that's just like a side view. All right, so let's get Pueblo again. A little bit more Daffodil. All right, so I'm going to come in here and pull on the chisel like daisies. Push, lift, push, lift. And these I'm going to lean up at an angle. And it looks, you get more of that orangey um, daff, uh, Pueblo color, right? So I can have then these just from the bottom here. Okay, and we can put a little centers in those. So see how I do like three, but also you could do a triangle. So I can do one, two, see one, two, three, right there, triangle, purple, purple, purple. So yellow, yellow, yellow. So, you know, it kind of balances out your look that you do. And then I'm going to do centers in that in just a minute. But I just want you to see that if I pick up white, we can then do a small little white daisies around here. This is a little, like I did asters like this too, that pretty small. I don't like these to look too much like a point, but sometimes that happens. You got to work that in. All right, so I can come here 
make a little center. Let's see, is that looking good? All right, so I can also do a little daisy over there. All right, I think that's going to be good. Let me go ahead and put a little butterfly up here. All right, so I always like to put that's where the head is. So I want to push down. This looks like a one stroke leaf. One stroke leaf. Oops. Second one stroke leaf right there on top of the first one. Daisy, daisy petal. All right, now let's get the script liner. All right, so I like to use green, but I'm going to do sap and a little bit of citrus. All right, so you can see the body. Touch left. Touch left. Uh, try that again. Touch left, touch left. All right, and let's do a heavier body here so you see it. Okay, so there's a little, little guy there. And then I'm going to just want to show you with a quarter inch scruffy. I can go right in here with citrus and white, and I can pounce the center. Okay, a center up here. See how it gives you a fuzzy look there? Citrus and the white on the top. See, I only have white at the very top edge. And then you pounce real tight in the same spot. Okay. But now it does look better if I put a little bit of dark sap green to set that in there. So watch this. Tap, tap, tap real tight, tight. See how the dark's at the bottom? And a little bit right here. All right. So see how that gives it a little bit of a nice touch to it. And then I'm going to use the handle to dip dot. Okay. Okay, there we go. So I just thought this would be a fun little, let's learn some things about working on dark. Let's look at, um, you can then pull some little white stamens in here. White yellow stamens in here. i just like you to see a few of those. Okay, because that breaks it up from looking like this uh, This one. All right, just give you a little bit, a little bit of yellow and everything. A little butterfly up there. And I'm going to sign it and share it. So what about you guys? Try this. Even if you do a couple of these, put it on a greeting card. It's just a really fun, quick, something you can paint and share. All right. Thank you for being on today. I hope you enjoyed learning some little bits about working on dark. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.